Hello, today we're talking about understanding barometer readings and what we use to measure the air pressure is called a barometer and essentially all air pressure is is the downward force of the atmosphere and when you have more downward force the air pressure rises when you have less downward force or less weight the air pressure drops and that's important because typically what happens is when the air pressure is rising the air is sinking it's putting more pressure on the earth but even more importantly sinking air clears out the skies so generally you have nice weather when the skies are clear and the barometric pressure is high. When the barometric pressure falls you have rising air, it's rising away from the surface of the earth so the pressure that it's putting on the earth goes down the pressure falls and typically with low pressure you have clouds, you have rain and when you have extreme conditions you can also have thunderstorms sometimes severe. The lower the pressure drops you also get the worst weather. For instance, the lower the pressure in a hurricane, the stronger the hurricane is. So understanding how to measure it, we use these barometers. And it's very simple to read a barometer to tell you if the weather's going to turn good or bad or whether you have high pressure or low pressure. Standard pressure, kind of the average pressure is 29.92 inches of mercury. That's the way we measure it. That's the way it's marked out on most barometer, whether it's a mercury barometer, a water barometer, or an aneroid barometer. This type is an aneroid barometer. But when the pressure rises, the needle goes up, and if you measure it against 29.92, anything above 29.92 is considered high. The closer you get to 30 or 31 is considered high. And the farther below 29.92 you go, the closer to 29 or even below 29, that means the pressure is low. So simply watch it, engage it against that 29.92 inches of mercury. Above it is high, below it generally is considered low.